Felixstone. Today we're here at the Salon to speak to Jennifer Louise. Can you go? We do all the range of beauty treatments, um, hair, from colouring, cutting, children, men and women, um, and we've got tanning, spray tanning, and stand-up sunbeds. And your sunbeds are a little different to normal sunbeds? They are. They're red and blue light therapy, so the blue light cleanses the skin, and the red light therapy does eczema, psoriasis, um, fine lines, wrinkles, cellulite, um, blemishes in the skin. It also... Um, is very good for giving 25% more tan than a normal sunbed. And what's your role specifically? I um, manage the salon, so I own it as well. Um, it is, I do all the beauty treatments myself, I do all the hair extensions, I do do the cutting, but I have got other hairdressers in to do that as well, so I can't obviously manage everything by myself. Yeah, and what made you want to have a salon, want to sort of be a business owner? Um, I was running a mobile business, um, which I did for 10 years, and um, found myself getting busier and busier, um, flying up and down the A14 or the A140, and decided that I wanted to be in one place to fit around the children mm -hmm. um, that I have. Yeah. And you mentioned your kids, do you cut their hair and everything? Yes, I do, yeah. yeah. And, they like and they're okay with that? They're yeah, like, yeah we yeah, trust you. <laughs> it's always good. Um, and how did, how did you get into sort of being a salon owner, being hairdresser, doing hairdressing, doing uh, sort of tanning, sort of even before your mobile business? Um, I went to college in 98. I um, did my two years and then I've done years and years upon that to top everything up to get all the other diplomas that I have. Um, worked in a world leading house spa for quite a while, um, so I got to treat quite a few famous faces. Mm -hmm. Um, and then decided that I'd go into the hair side of it and sort of built upon it on there. Yeah. Um, I've got quite a lot of, a few of my cousins actually have gone into sort of hairstyling and uh, hairdressing. Uh, what advice would you give to people who want to go into that sort of area? To make sure that they pick the right academy to train in mm -hmm. and that they're satisfied. And it, it is work experience important for that sort of thing? Um, yeah, I think that you've got to have the right place to do your work experience. Um, make sure that you get plenty of hands-on help mm -hmm. um, and a lot of advice along the way and to listen. That's great. Tell us a bit more about yourself outside of career. <laughs> um, I've got three children. They are three, nine and twelve. I've got two girls and a boy. Um, my partner. Um, I'm quite a sporty person mm -hmm. and I like doing um, socialising with my friends um, but at the moment with it being a new business it's kind of pretty much been on here. It's taking over a bit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you do a lot of events planning? Yes we do, we have um, hen parties, we do children's parties, um, we do a lot of weddings. Um, I do go out and do them as well, um, but we do try and encourage um, the clients to have them here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can have a big group booking and take over the back of the hair room. So, yeah. What's your uh, favourite treatment to have and what's your favourite treatment to give? My favourite treatment to have is probably my hair. Um, and favourite treatment to give, I love doing um, electrolysis, nails, wedding makeup. Hair Electrolysis is I'm not entirely exactly. sure. Hair removal. Hair removal. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. And is it through light or something? It's not through light. It's through a needle, but it's not really a needle. It's more of a probe. But it's electric current that goes into the skin and removes the hair permanently. Oh, okay. Permanently. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed there was a prop dress prop dressing being changed in the window. What's that all about? Um, I work quite closely with Karina, who owns um, Ashton and Jane Bridal down the road. Um, we, obviously she does all the dress supplies for proms and weddings and events, and I do all the hair and the makeup. So There's a good partnership there. Yeah. So is that one of her dresses being displayed? It is one of her dresses and it attracts quite a lot of attention as people walk past the window, so it works together. How often does it get changed out? Um, in a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And right now we're in your beauty room. Yeah. Yeah. And what sort of things do you do in here? 
all of the treatments in the brochure and um, this is the main beauty room so we've got three rooms in total and um, so in here we do facials massage electrolysis eyelash tinting eyelash extensions pretty much everything unless it's hands or feet because we have a specific room for that and then we've got another room as well um, which is very similar to this one yeah and then you've got the salon out the back yeah and then we've got a spray tanning room as well oh okay it's, it's a lot bigger than it looks from outside <laughs> And you use a different skincare brand, is that right? Yes, we do. We use Pavonia, which is um, a world leading skincare brand. It's 100% um, natural, it's um, at least 5% active. Um, normally, a high street brand is 0.02%. Mm -hmm. So um, the brands, depending on what the product is, are between 5 to 12%. So the results are um, a lot more effective and a lot quicker than a normal high street product. Okay, and uh, if I wanted to book a treatment, how would I go about doing that? I can speak to either myself or one of the girls on the desk and we can book that one for you. Or I guess people could phone up or... Yeah, yeah, they're all listed, all different treatments for different um, specific things. Or if you're unsure, you can have a chat to us and we'll advise you over consultation. Excellent, thank you. And what's your favourite thing about your job? Um, Treatment wise, I I love doing all aspects of the treatments, but it's nice to make people feel nice about themselves and go away and feel pampered and relaxed mm -hmm. and uh, have the results that they wanted to achieve. Excellent. Thank you for joining me. So now I'm joined by Zoe, who's one of the hairstylists here. I hear you're the colouring expert. Well, if you like. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just do kind of all colours, so you've got like you can do full head foils, uh, half head, T sections, um, you can have full head colours or just your roots. Um, we've also brought into the salon uh, balayages and ombres and they seem to be quite popular at the moment. And what are they exactly? Balayage is, um, it's literally where you've got obviously your root colour and then you've got an end colour, um, but whereas an ombre, You've got it's more blended into one, whereas balayage is sort of like pulled up through higher. Oh, okay. So there's a slight difference, but they're quite similar as well. Yeah. And I heard talk of tie dye colour. Tie dye, yeah. You can get there's all sorts of different ways of colouring. It's just sort of trying to be creative, really. Mm. So we're just trying to bring up loads of little inventions and things in the salon. That's fantastic. Mm. And what's your favourite uh, colour to put in? Or style? I don't really have a favourite. Um, I just I like to be creative um, as much as I can. Um, and just sort of have a little play around with all the different colours that we've got and just try and make something of it. That's fantastic. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for Focus on Felix Doe. We'll see you next time.